Now coming up to elections, this seems to me to be a state in turmoil. We're seeing repeated violence. We're seeing people living in fear. What has gone wrong with this breakdown in law and order here? I think you have to correct your information first. The state is very, very peaceful. So the Muslims who would say that they are still terrified, they are still frightened to go back to their homes, they still I'm feel not, that people who murdered I, their I, relatives I, I, have I, not been brought to justice. What would you say to them? I am not agree with your analysis. I am not agree with your information. This absolutely misguided information to you from where you have picked up this type of garbage, I do not know. Some people have been accusing your government of not doing enough to stop this, of not protecting Muslims even now. These are also false propaganda made by our opponents and you are also a captive of this false propaganda. Can you explain more? What, who is perpetuating this false propaganda? That the information I'm reporting is taken from what I've seen with my own eyes, both Those at the time of the opponents. rights and now. Those are our opponents. And the independent reports that have already been published into what has happened. They have no right to talk about the internal matter of any government. I'm very, very clear in my mind. If they have done, they have done wrong. Some would say it is a human right, or is a general please, international please interest. Please, don't try to preach us the human rights. We know what the human rights are. You Britishers should not preach us the human rights. When you look back over the last month, you've been the leader of this state through a very difficult period. Do you think there's anything that you should have done differently? Yes. One area where I was uh, very, very weak, and that was how to handle the media.